popping YouTube. It's your boy 86, bringing you another video here on this channel, which probably might be my biggest mail call ever. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because as of right now, right next to me, we got four of these bad boys in today, you heard? Not only do I have those four sitting right next to me, I also have an in-store pickup that I brought yesterday. When I saw it, I just had to have it. And you know, a lot of stores have been dropping heat lately and I can't control myself clearly. So I'm gonna showcase some of those with y'all today. But before I do that, do me a favor, drop a like on this video, you know what I'm saying? Help you get the video out there, you know, it's free support. Subscribe to the channel and join this journey with me. I'm gonna be showcasing as much heat as I can whenever I pick something up, you feel me? All right, so the first one we finna unbox is actually from Lids. I had to cop this off of somebody in the Discord because, you know, sure as shit, my local Lids has nothing but dirt. And the one I picked up in store yesterday was a Lids pickup too. The one I'm talking about specifically, shout out to him for shipping in the bag too, you know what I'm saying? Take notes, sellers. It was this Blinky collection that they dropped last fall. You know what I'm saying? This one is the Philadelphia Phillies. Veteran Stadium patch. Look at these thre this threading. They got metallic threading in the patch and the batterman. I don't know what type of blue this is. I'm, I'm not even going to embarrass myself I'm trying to say something that I have no clue that I'm talking about. But you see it all over. Like It's it's metallic threading. They got a little hint of pink in the batterman. I think a flat batterman would have done this a little bit better. And if they threw like the metallic blue right here where the black is, but this is still cool. It's all right. Black button, pink UV with a silky white sweatband. This Phillies logo is, it's my second favorite. I'm not going to say it's my favorite because to me the best Phillies logo is the big script one that a lot of people go crazy for. Rightfully so. But yeah, when I seen this last fall, because I thought this collection really wasn't that good. Because originally I thought it was like a pinwheel hat but it really isn't because the it's really just the front panels that's colored and then the rest of the hat is black that's why i let it rock if this was like front two white these two black and then the back panel white again i probably wouldn't have liked this i'm not gonna lie giving off them 2005 vibes and stuff but i don't mind this i'd seen this in the expos and it changed my whole mind about this collection and i love it Thank you. Thank you to my bro on Discord who was able to get this to me. Retail price. I'm saying it's a lit hat. But it is what it is. This is the in-store pickup. Roy G. Bib 2.0. Pittsburgh Pirates. 94 All-Star Game patch. It's the first in my collection with this one for the few Pittsburgh hats that I do have. Ray's Batterman. I think this one's done a little bit tastefully because the green outline on it is subtle. And it goes with the theme of the hat because they gotta have all these colors on there for it to for it to work out. But the Batman has its own original hint of the regular MLB colors, and then the yellow outline don't look bad around it at all. And then the green one is subtle. Also has a green new era flag. I wish they would leave it tonal, but for the purpose of what they do with the hat, they had to. Red button, yellow eyelets. Kelly Green UV with a silky white sweatband once again. Oh, well, my favorites. But yeah, man, Lids has been on fire as of late. These were two fire pickups, I'm not even gonna lie. They've been dropping a lot of fire lately in store. And Lids HD too, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people like to hate on Lids for whatever reason, but you can't ever deny when somebody's doing their thing, bro. And that's what it is, but two heat pickups to start it off. We're gonna finna get to the next one. The next one that we got here, I had to pay resale for, but good resale price, damn near retail, because you know I'm not into paying these crazy resale prices. I'm not into paying people rent for a hat. It's from a collection that I've been chasing down for a little minute. Oh yeah, there it is. Shout out to my guy Pink Brim Poppy on IG, by the way. Got me for a good price. But boom. We have the Spumoni St. Louis Cardinals from Hat Club. 1964 World Series with the, the Swinging Bird. This is, this is like one of my favorite logo and patch combinations on hats. The 64 World Series with the Swinging Bird, I love it. And on top of that, it's just one of my favorite colorways ever. You got a flat batterman with that, you know, that turquoise blue and the pink. Same in the patch. Tonal flag, black guts, pink UV. It's just beautiful. 
because if you didn't know, brown is my favorite crown color on hats. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love brown hats. I'm on a mission to collect all of the Spumonis because I just love this colorway. The way the brown and the pink work and mesh well so well together, I just love it. I need every single one of them. If you have them in a 3 8 or a seven and a half, hit me on IG for a good price though. Don't bullshit prices, I'm not even gonna lie. If it's like 90 or better, I don't want it. Hit me up on IG, check my ISO section and my highlights to let you know which ones I'm really looking for that I still need. This one's off the list, the Marlins is off the list. What I'm really looking for is that Stomper, the D-backs, and the Mets. Those are my top priority ones. If you have any others for a good price that you're going to let go, hey, hit me up. We can work something out. But this is a heater. I'm very glad to have this. I needed it. We're searching for it for a minute. Now, the last two pickups are going to come from arguably the best hat store in the game right now, which is Toppers. Now, if you don't know about Toppers and never heard of them and you're in this hat shit, you're sleeping under a rock. Toppers easily has the best shipping. They drop the most consistent heat literally every day, every week. They restock pretty decently often. And there's just hardly any misses. And you wanna know the craziest part about this? They're in Austria. You understand? They're located overseas. And they'll get your package to you in two days, depending on where you, what day you order. If you order on a Friday, it's quick, but you order that any other day. You order it on a Monday, it's going to be there Wednesday. If you order it on a Wednesday, it's going to be there Friday. No matter what you order, it'll be there in two days. I can't even get a store in the city to order that, to ship out to me that fast. So that's crazy, man, but I'm not sure which is which because I got two of them here. I ordered one last Friday, ironically, and I ordered one like a few days before that. One of them is one I've been chasing for a very long time. It is literally a grail of mine. One of the best crossovers to ever exist. The best Seattle crossover for sure. And one and the other one is something I've just wanted in my collection for a little while. So I'm gonna just take a pick of the litter and see which one is which. So got a little invoice work. Don't nobody give a fuck about that. Get out of the way. And you know with toppers, they always send the baseball cards if you into that. I mean, not so much. Shout out to Hector Villanueva. I don't watch baseball, so I don't know who that is. And you know, they always send you a thank you card and stuff. They usually always send a 10% discount for the next time you order. I don't see that in here, but it is what it is. That's not why we're here. And I tell you, this has to be a top five Seattle Mariners hat ever. I don't bullshit you. There's no way you could look at this and not just see, and not just feel some type of way, a sensation. We have the Seattle Mariners two-tone gray bottom. This is supposed to be a crossover representing KD on the Supersonics. This was designed by Mumful Profit, by the way. If y'all in tune with Lids and know who Mumful is, or even it's on the YouTube side of things, he designed this when he was still with Views from the Vogue. This shits on any other Seattle crossover made. The Hat Club one, the Pro Image, the Just Fit is Corduroy one, any of them. To me, this is a top five Seattle hat in general. Flat Batterman, like look at this. Flat Batterman with that copper stitching in there with the red. The 35th, what is it, anniversary patch? Yeah, 35th anniversary patch with the copper threads and the red. It, it just looks so beautiful. The forest green crown. The copper S with the red outline, red button, two-tone, red brim, gray under. This is a phenomenal piece of art right here. And I'm not going to lie. They dropped one with the M logo. I don't know how y'all feel about that if you've seen it. What is this? I haven't even been seeing where they've been made. This is a banger that's on top of that. Kind of doesn't look like it. We'll see whenever I get to it. But this thing is thinging. All right, this might be the best pickup of this video. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've been chasing this for a little while and I'm glad they restocked it and I caught it. I finally was able to catch it because last time they dropped it, I lacked. And 30 seconds after I saw the notification, gone. Still no chance. 
This is a banger. I am very glad and proud to have this in the collection. Shout out to Toppers, man. We got one more Toppers pickup before we wrap this video up. Something else I've been waiting to have in this collection for a while. Or invoice work. Fuck the invoice. I'm gonna have to go along. Fuck whatever that is. Doing. They shipped this one in a bag, ironically, which is weird. Not the other. Yeah, another thank you card. And for a while in my collection, before having this lid blinky, but even in general, it don't hit the same. Because it's only partially white. What I've been wanting is an off-white crown, an off-white pinky, to be specific. And I was finally able to secure one that I actually like. It's like a Neapolitan Colorado Rockies. We've had the 20th anniversary. This is the first one I have of this, because I have two 25ths. I like that patch the most when it comes to the Rockies, but this one's all right. The copper threading in the front logo is amazing. You know, we got that mocha brown top visor, pink UV. Yeah, there's regular white guts. This ain't the silky ones, is it? No, this is silky. Oh, my Lord. Literally like three for three on the silky white guts today. A four for four, actually. Is the month for one silky? No, never mind. This one's not silky, but this one is. This thing is a heater. No button violation, brown button. I kind of wish the outline of the Batman was a little bit different, but hey, they kept it what it was. I don't mind it. That ain't going to help me not sleep at night. I would have slept a lot worse if I didn't hit this. This is fire. Now, this is one of many off-white crowns that I wanted to have in my collection. In general, just for the color scheme, but they dropped this a few months back. They did this with a pink bottom and they also did it with a red bottom. I would have taken either or, but I definitely like it better with the pink because I like the... It gives me the Neapolitan ice cream type vibes. And there's a bunch of stores that have done a Neapolitan ice cream colorway type of design. And I miss it every single time. Especially Sports World and Exclusive Fitted. That Tigers... I think about it every day. But yeah, man, that's the pickups for today. You know what I'm saying? A calm little five piece. Hello. Let me know what's your favorite down below. If you like any of them, which one's your favorite. And let me know what you just thought about the video in general. But as always, man, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Join the journey. We're going to be dropping and getting more heat soon. Follow me on IG at 86GotBrims. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Catch up with y'all in the next one. You heard? Peace.